Hello everyone. In uh, today's ATL online session, we are going to learn uh, how to make our own LED torch using uh, some available material in our ATL lab, like uh, nine volt battery, ten mm uh, diameter LEDs, um, then switch LED cap, uh, the battery cap. We can also make these torch using uh, the PVC pipe that we will see uh, in the later uh, during this session. So let us first see what kind of LED torch that we can make. In this picture, you can see uh, these LED torch. On the picture on the left hand side is how the assembled uh, LED torch looks like. It has it also has a push button. Uh, it turns on only when you push it. If you release the button, it turns uh, off. So you don't need to worry about uh, that. So this is the list of material and tools needed. We just need a plastic uh, box. A nine volt battery, battery cap, and you are also going to uh, you know uh, measure the distance uh, for measure the diameter of LED, measure the diameter of uh, the push button. So that's why you need a vernier caliper. Uh, you need a battery operated drilling machine. You can use the quarter drilling machine as well. Uh, you need a drilling drill bit. You also need to. Uh, you also going to be soldering the circuit. So. Let's first start with measuring the LED diameter and uh, mark it. So the LEDs that we are measuring is basically uh, 9 mm. Uh, it, its diameter is 9 mm. And we accordingly mark on one uh, side of the box, the plastic box. Now uh, we will uh, start drilling uh, the uh, for LEDs, two, two LEDs. So this is how we basically use the 9 volt uh, battery operated drilling machine. Take the 9mm drill, put it into the drilling machine, keep it ready for drilling. Um, again, uh, we are showing here how to mark the dots. Now let's drill. So to make a drill, we have used some support inside the plastic box so that uh, it doesn't get cracked. Uh, there is some soft foam or you can put also a wooden block. And uh, since this job is a plastic, you don't need to actually put it in the vise. It may get cracked. So you put, uh, you, this is how you um put the two drills for two leds and now uh, we will uh, measure the diameter of the button so this is 6.3 millimeter diameter of the button uh, this is push button as i said it doesn't uh, stay on if you just release the button the torch will be off so now drilling for uh, the button you can drill uh, on one side of the box so that on uh, you can hold the torch and you can switch it on and off likewise we can see uh, this is a 6 mm drill again we are uh, using the foam inside or you can put some wooden block so that the plastic box doesn't get cracked so this is how the box looks after drilling now let's see let's make a circuit diagram using tinkercad i hope you have used tinkercad before for uh, designing your components uh, designing your parts uh, to be 3d printed but yes Tinkercad can also be used to uh, use in electronics. Let us understand how to create circuit diagram using Tinkercad. So this is a Tinkercad.com browser, uh, first page that looks like. Go to uh, uh, this browser, then click on login, personal accounts, go to you, Google. If you already have account, simply choose whatever account you are going to use on Tinkercad. This will open uh, your Tinkercad account, click new and go to circuits it will basically open uh, this this uh, window take 9 volt battery as uh, first your, one of your components that is needed for the torch you can give a name to your battery uh, tinkercad also allows you to rotate the components we have rotated it up uh, you know vertically up take two leds you can uh, rename leds uh, choose white LED because we are going to use white LED uh, in our uh, torch and we are going to use two LEDs. So LED number two, again select white LED. <clears throat> and now just place these two LEDs on top of the battery just like this uh, and uh, you are going to basically uh, rotate these uh, like, like what we have shown in, into the window. Now connect the positive end of LED uh, uh, to the resistor. We have also got a resistor 
and uh, we are going to use 220 ohm resistor for this torch so connect this 220 uh, ohm resistor and we also are going to use a push button so add a push button to your circuit give it a name uh, connect the positive end of the battery to the resistor and again from resistor to the positive terminal of first led connect the negative terminal of first led to the positive terminal of the second led connect negative terminal to the negative terminal of the battery uh, negative terminal of second led to the negative terminal of the battery using push button so this is how our circuit is ready click on start simulation and if your value of resistor is correct if you are correct connect uh, connected it correctly your leds will turn on it they will glow on that is how you are going to uh, make sure your circuit is correct you have chosen the resistor value correctly you have made the connections uh, you know correct you can uh, this is how your circuit diagram looks like you know we are going to use this circuit diagram to assemble our uh, torch with led so let's see how we are going to assemble it and i'm sure you will enjoy you know uh, making this assembly of led torch this is how uh, this is how our led torch looks like after we have assembled this is just to give you a picture uh, of how our led torch is going to look like see this is a push button the two leds 10 mm diameter in the front and a battery and other components are inside let's look into the assembly how we have assembled basically take the box uh, you know where we have made two drills uh, for led insert one led in the one hole then take another led insert that through the other hole make sure that uh, you are going to uh, you know connect negative terminal of the leftmost led to the positive terminal of the rightmost led see this is how he is showing in, uh, on the into the picture the, then uh, you know uh, connect those two terminals just by twisting those uh, wires and uh, we are going to do soldering uh, of these two terminals make sure your soldering gun is heated and uh, solder those two terminals the negative terminal of leftmost led to the positive terminal of the rightmost led we are checking if the soldering is done properly so that it doesn't get loosened after you know certain period of time and our connection is perfect so we have checked that now take the 220 ohm resistor apply some soldering gun uh, soldering wire to the positive terminal of the leftmost led you know where we are going to connect the resistor basically the resistor we have we are going to connect it to the positive terminal of the first led we are soldering it make sure the resistor terminal is also soldered properly if you challenge you know accessing the terminals while uh, it is assembled into the box you can adjust the orientation of the box appropriately you know, that is okay make sure you are following the safety uh, precautions while using the uh, hot uh, soldering gun keep it into the stand when you are not using it then uh, assemble uh, the button but before we assemble the button let us solder the positive terminal of the battery that is the red wire of the battery to the resistor so our battery's positive terminal is now connected to the positive terminal of the leftmost led through resistor so this is how we are we are uh, you know making the connection now let us assemble the button we have made uh, one hole for the button on one side of the box you know remove the nut of the button push the button from inside of the box so that the button uh, comes out of the box push it till it gets you know uh, correctly 
rightly flushed onto the plastic surface. Once it is correctly assembled, you can uh, tighten it using the nut provided on the button. So we are going to tighten the nut. We are going to tighten the button using the nut. So assemble it on to the outer side of the button. Tighten it using fingers. Make sure it is correctly tightened. Now let us solder the uh, negative terminal of the battery to the one terminal of the button. Okay. If it is a little challenging in uh, soldering, you can make the button a little loose or make sure that it is tightened properly. Um, yeah. If the two terminals are very close by, you can uh, adjust the soldering wire appropriately. Uh, make sure the terminals are separated uh, and uh, connect the negative terminal of the second LED to one terminal of the button. See the rightmost LED. The negative terminal of that LED is soldered to one terminal of the button and the other end of other terminal of the button is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So that makes the circuit complete. The battery will uh, supply the power only when you push the button on and the LEDs will turn on. You can keep it, uh, keep the wire properly before soldering. You can take help of your friends, of your teacher to hold the box properly so that you can uh, uh, solder, you know, comfortably. So this is how you have completed the soldering of the circuit. You can use the double sided tape to stick the battery inside the box. But if it is not available, simply insert the uh, battery inside the box. Make sure that all the ends are properly insulated. There is no short circuit. You can, uh, you know, uh, turn the wires inside appropriately so that the wires don't look too uh, messy and you can close the lid of the bat box. Try switching on just by pressing the button. As you re release the button, the battery will turn off. Let's see how it looks like into the dark. And this is good enough for your personal use. You can use it, you know, you can keep it on your desk, study table. If the electricity is off, you, know, you can use it for immediate purpose to search your books, search your you know, anything, right? Uh, you can keep it handy at your home also. And you can gift it to your family, friends, you know, keep it one at your school so that you can use it. So this is how we can make a beautiful torch using, you know, very simple easily available material in our lab. Now let's see how to make LED torch using PVC pipe. If, in case you don't have the box, in case you don't have anything, if you have PVC pipes available with the end caps, the two end caps that you can see, uh, you can make the LED torch using PVC pipes. Just make sure that you use a, a good size of PVC pipe. This is how the material is needed. Everything is same except the box. Here we are going to use the PVC pipe and the caps. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, you can have a 0.5 inch, half inch diameter PVC pipe. Uh, you can measure it up to 15 centimeter long so that it is good enough to hold in your hand. And also uh, you can, uh, you know, by length. Now cut it, put the, put the pipe into the vise. Use safety gloves and with your saw you can cut it. Now let's make drill onto the one uh, cap for LED, not on both caps, just one, uh, one cap we will drill, put it into the uh, vise before you actually you know, drill. So now let's see, uh, put the cap into the vise, make sure you are following the safety gloves, wearing safety goggles, do not do it without that and you can clamp the job and make a drill uh, properly so that you know the job doesn't get uh, skid. 
and you can drill it appropriately. Now uh, let's solder the LED onto the PCB. So that's three watt LED, and the below circle is basically its PCB. You can uh, we will solder it, the positive end of the LED to the positive terminal of PCB, and the negative end of the LED to the negative terminal of PCB. So this is how we will uh, solder the LED. Since this LED uh, positive end and negative end, we will solder onto the PCB carefully. Once we uh, yeah solder this LED onto the PCB, let's solder wires to the LED PCB basically uh, from where we are going to give the uh, electric supply through the battery. Now let's solder button. Similarly, just like what we have done earlier using the battery uh, using that small box, simply put one push button in the middle. This is how our assembled battery looks like. Let's see how do we assemble. You know, we have soldered the LED onto the LED PCB. We have soldered wires to the LED PCB. And uh, now, you know, we have also soldered the button uh, through the one wire. Now let's assemble it. You know, take that pipe. Uh, then take this uh, LED PCB that is wired. You can um, bring that one end of the wire through this hole. You can make one hole on the, the pipe. The uh, second end is actually basically the battery's negative terminal. So that's wire that is coming from the battery's negative terminal. Because we are going to connect one end of the battery uh, positive terminal to the posit positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the LED. And negative terminal we are going to connect through the button. That's how we are going to complete the circuit. Take the wires out uh, through the hole and uh, we can um, do soldering of the button basically through these wires. So that once we push the button, the uh, electric connection is made on and the battery is switched on. Let's see. Take the push button. Uh, make sure that you follow safety precautions while soldering uh, the button. Uh, solder one end of the button to the one wire another end of the button to the another wire. So this is how we basically solder the button. We are uh, making sure that you know, we connect it properly. Apply some solder to the button uh, terminals so that uh, you know it makes easy when we actually solder it onto the wires. Just apply some soldering uh, material onto the terminals both the uh, wire and button terminals so that it gets easily soldered you know you don't need to uh, apply too much of soldering uh, metal if you have already uh, put some metal soldering metal onto the terminals you know before you hold them together and join so it's easily it easily gets melted and it easily gets connected just take some help if you are struggling uh, to hold it properly. Take some help of your friend or your teacher. Since this is a little critical, uh, small uh, dimension job joints, you can take some help of others. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Let's see. Uh, since we have uh, had some challenge, but we, we made it... Uh, you know, solder properly. See, I have uh, taken help of my colleague, my friend to hold the button and uh, I am using two, of, two hands to make the join. Let's, once the button is solder, push it through that hole properly so that surface of the button sticks onto the surface of the pipe. By the time you are soldering the button, you can keep the you know hot glue gun on so that it gets heated. You can apply some hot glue just below the uh, button, surface of the button and push the button through that hole so that uh, it gets properly tightened onto the pipe. This is how we are basically assembling the button you can use uh, hot glue gun if the hole is too uh, 
if the if that joint is too tight you don't need to also apply but better to apply the hot glue gun now apply some hot glue gun on to the or surrounding the led just apply it carefully uh, hold your uh, pcb properly within your fingers so that you don't burn your fingers by the hot glue gun take the cap on which you have made a hole for led assemble that uh, led through that hole exactly see that the led is seen through that hole right now yeah this is how basically we are uh, applying the hot glue gun and assembling the uh, LED PCB to that hole onto that cap. So once that is uh, cool uh, enough and dried, leave that uh, to get it cooled and uh, cooled down. Meanwhile, take the 9 volt battery and put the caps on, check the terminals and uh, before you make the connection, apply some Take the other cap, apply some hot glue gun at the base of the 9 volt battery. Apply it enough so that the battery is uh, uh, hold properly after you are you know, done with everything. Take the other cap, the second cap and just assemble the battery up, upright so that it stays upright. Allow it also uh, to get cool down. So the battery stays properly. Let both the joints cool down. And uh, once that is done, put the battery cap. Check the cap terminals. Put the negative and positive terminals of the cap properly. You know, so that it did, it doesn't get you know short circuit. Just make sure that you have put everything properly. Now everything is done. Uh, tighten the cap that is having LED. Insert the wires properly. Tighten that cap. And uh, it is just press fit. You don't need to you know, do anything. Just insert these wires on the other end correctly inside the pipe. And insert that cap onto the other end of the torch, or the other end of the pipe. You press fit it, your torch is almost ready. Now, now let's check uh, working of our battery. Since we have done soldering, connections, assembly of the wire. Yeah, our battery, the LED glows. Since this is 3 watt LED, we don't recommend it directly, you know, turning the uh, battery rays on into your eyes. This is how our LED torch with PVC pipe looks like. This is easy to ha handheld and uh, this is 3 watt power LED and it is good enough in the dark. You can use it into the farm, school, in your home during uh, when the power is off, electricity is off and this is the first battery that we did, the torch that we did using uh, two 10 mm LEDs. This is good enough for your, uh, also for your home purpose. So thank you for watching and I'm sure that you will like making these such torch.